So I'm gonna be quickly demonstrating how to use my script. Not even quickly because it might take some time. I'm gonna use my easy proxy strip script. Um, so to make to clear up some things, I've been super busy. End of term. Again, if you guys don't know, I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm not a college student, nor am I a grown man. I have things to do and I have other priorities to take care of. So I can finally do this for you guys. Um so yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no more need for the uh, excessive emails because I have like a thousand unread emails and I can't do it. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So the first step you want to do is generate an SSH key. So assuming that most of my users are on Windows. So we're just going to close everything here out. Um, you just need to download PuTTY. Um, the link will be in the description. PuTTY is an SSH client and includes some magical SSH tools like what we're about to open up. My bad. So type in PuTTY, and what you'll see is there's something called PuTTY Gen. That's what we're going to use to generate a SSH key. So I'm going to also be showing you how to do this on Mac too. Um, so when you're generating an SSH key, um, just make sure you select RSA over here. And then what you want to do is just hit uh, generate. And then just shake your mouse around random places. Um, it's kind of just like, um, like how they do it. <laughs> I forgot why. I forgot why, but all you have to do is you just have to keep doing that. So yeah, let's just give it some time. I'm actually using Chrome Remote Desktop, no boot camp or parallels or any of that. I have a computer downstairs. Um, so yeah, just makes things easier. Yep, yep, yep. Just give it its time. Anyways, after we do this, we're going to save our private key. And then we're going to save our public key somewhere. And I'll show you. Um, so this is our SSH public key, and we're just going to copy that. And what we're going to do with it is we're going to go underneath DigitalOcean, and just we're going to create a new droplet. We're not actually going we're not actually going to be creating a new droplet. We're actually just going to be adding our SSH key. So if you go underneath here, it'll say add new SSH key. I'm just going to call this computer down stairs because it's physically not up in my room or anything and we're just going to paste that and over here add ssh key voila now um, we've added our ssh key it's that simple on the windows um and yeah so we're going to do a couple of things um you can add a paraphrase which is basically a password highly recommend it but you don't have to um you literally don't have to at all um so what we're just going to do is we're going to save um save this private key oops but you're sure you want to do it yeah so we're just going to name it prive i already have a file called prive here but let's just override that and for the sake of backing up anything it's also nice to um just always save the public key that we created here so um you can always open up notepad and just paste the, that public key see see that right there yeah that public key and you need to save it to your desktop so it's good to back that up because you never know what would happen so yeah pop public all right there you go all right so magical we've added our ssh info okay for mac users um it's pretty simple just follow the steps listen to me and you will be safe you will be safe um so, um, assuming you have terminal uh, or a terminal session, um, I'm just going to make a new window. Um, what you would want to type in to generate a SSH key is they have built in libraries and just type in SSH dash Keegan slash T RSA. All right. And what happens is when you type that in, it will generate it. It will ask you if you want to put in a paraphrase. It will prompt you that. And what it will give you is it will give you the SSH, it will give you the SSH public key. Um, if you don't know where your public key path is, um, I always forget, where do you find it? Uh, uh, SSH public key, public key path, um, on Mac, uh, I'm not too sure where it is, but it's, uh, it's somewhere around here. I always forget where you put it, where where it's actually. So you're always gonna have an ID RSA, but if you're not too sure, 
All right, this is it. Yep. So if you're not too sure um, to get your public key, um, you can type in this command and it'll paste it to your clipboard. Or you can just type in cat and then slash and then type in dot ssh slash idrsa dot hub. And this will give you SSH, SSH public key right over here. So yeah, this is the SSH public key. And once you have that, you can do the same exact thing with DigitalOcean when you're creating a droplet. Uh, you just call it Peter's MacBook Pro and just paste that over here. And yeah, there. Uh, so there you go, that's my computer downstairs and that's my MacBook Pro. And there you go, we've added our SSH keys. Um, so the next thing you want to do is um, set up Easy Proxy. So you can download it as a zip, and assuming you guys know how to CD into a directory. So um, I'm on my Mac and I'm just simply going to git clone it because git cloning is a good way to do it. I don't know why most people download it as zips, but you can also do that. And once you have the folder, just hit CD Easy Proxy <coughs> and run uh, sudo npm install. I'm not 100% if you have to run sudo, but I must do it to be safe because, oops, because, oh wow, well, because uh, some of these dependencies do a lot of funky stuff, but you never know. Um, some of them might actually require root privileges. So we're just doing that and let it do its thing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to use my preferred text editor when opening this. So I have Adam. So I'm just going to run um, Adam space dot to open it up. Um, and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do you is we're going to have a config.example.json file. What you want to do is right click and click rename if you're using Adam and uh, just name it example.config.json. Wait, oops, my bad. Yeah, config.json over here. So we're just going to make the provider digital underscore ocean. And, and this is where all the important stuff is. So digital ocean API key, very important. Um, you can get that through API, um, generate new token. And, uh, uh, oops, uh, tutorial, generate token, there you go, API key, and, uh, we're just going to paste that in here, and next we're going to find out what our SSH key ID is, so underneath the docs, if you don't know where to find your SSH key ID, um, it's pretty simple. Um, made it pretty simple in the docs. You type in node scripts, node scripts slash ssh underscore keys. All right, so um, these are the two ones I have my MacBook Pro, and um, I also have um, the computer downstairs. Simply, um, all I have to do is just get the ID. So, this is the ID for my MacBook Pro. And then that's the ID for my computer downstairs. So I'm just going to get the ID for my MacBook Pro over here. And paste that right over here. All right, so the SSH paraphrase. Um, so um, <laughs> I have a paraphrase on here. I don't really want to <laughs> put it in here right now, but I will. Um, and over here, uh, RSA, an ID you have. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to set this up on Windows and Mac. So um, no one really understands the file system. Um, but assuming on your Mac, what you're just going to have to do is edit this. 
um, to your desired username on your Mac and if you don't know what that is whoopsie um, if you don't know what that is um, you just go underneath go home um, then you go underneath uh, whoops actually you go underneath go computer um, your Macintosh users and you'll be able to find out so my name is actually Peter so it would just be as you can see users Peter all right and then that's all you really have to do um, so yeah um, mine is Peter and that's all and you can also set up the region I have a region list inside the um, description of the repository if you want to know what the region IDs are and um, the paraphrase I'll set up later um, if you don't have a paraphrase or if you didn't set one up you can just make it null and yeah um, so yeah on Windows let's go to Windows god so we're just gonna get clone this repo um, no, nah, we don't need that. So you need desktop, and yeah, we're just gonna get clone that. And then we're just gonna go into CD, CD, um, easy proxy, and run npm install. So yeah, if you're in macing probably gonna have a little timestamp in the description of um, what's going on in each different part so um, I'm also going to specify which parts are for Windows users and which parts are for Mac users so people aren't wasting their time watching um, like a Windows guide part um, if you're on Mac um, so I'll be sure to have timestamps in the descriptions and yeah so just give it its time Usually, whenever you run the npm install command, it can get, take up to one or two minutes, depending on how many dependencies there are. All right, we're good. So, we're going to use Atom. Um, I just like Atom. And I'm just going to open that up in Atom the way I did on Mac. All right, let's open it up. So, as we did, we're just going to rename this to config dot json and yeah over here so we're gonna pick up our API key from here we already we already know where we found that API key um, and we're gonna be able to pick up the SSH key ID by running that command as we showed showed um node scripts um, SSH underscore keys. Oh yeah, <laughs> we forgot one thing. Um, so since we have our uh, API key saved, just hit Control S. Ah, uh, this computer's freezing out. Oh yeah, so yeah, hit Control S and uh, go back in here and run that command. And um, that's the ID for my computer downstairs uh, eight zero eight zero zero seven five five eight so yeah eight zero zero seven five five eight I believe yeah was that it? uh we'll just quickly check eight zero zero seven five five eight there you go eight zero zero seven five five eight and then paraphrase we didn't set one up here so we're just gonna make it null um, as you saw previously and region which is going to make it NYC3 and then this is a very very confusing part for a lot of people so I'm going to be showing you how to do it right because JSON is strictly um, something that has rules that you want to be following so yeah over here we're going to go underneath properties where we have our private key and we're going to find the path <coughs> So this path over here is like the part that tricks everyone up. Um, so you just want to copy that and then you want to paste it. 
And what you want to do, what you want to do is you want to add a second backslash. Because the way JSON reads it is it won't read it as one, it'll read it as two. And then I'm going to add another backslash. And as you can see in the docs where I have it, it will look like this. So that PPK file that we have, um, which is called priv.ppk, which is what I named it, um, priv.ppk. See that right there, priv.ppk. It's the name of it. As you can see, if you go underneath here, priv.ppk, <coughs> you can simply just save that. And when you go underneath um, your command line, you can simply now type in, as you can see, you don't have to type in Atlas, but you can type in node index. And what we'll do is ask you how many proxies you want to make. Let's just make one, and it'll be creating them. And it's the same thing for Mac users. Just go underneath here and type in node index. How many proxies you want to create? One. And I'll do that. And then it obviously takes some time. So while it's creating those proxies, it takes about 60 seconds. That's actually um, what I have it set as. It will run it in a parallel or asynchronous way and create multiple at once. So important things you need to know. If you don't have a paraphrase, you can set it as null. Actually, it's not going to create these proxies for me because I didn't set my paraphrase. So I don't want to show you guys my paraphrase because it's actually something that's important and pretty private. But yeah, make sure your paraphrase is always correct. If there's no paraphrase or you know you didn't set one, make sure that value is null, just how I showed you on Windows. Um, what's next? Over here, um, digital ocean ID RSA path. It's kind of what I showed you. Um, if you're on Mac, you'll always just probably have to just replace this name as I showed you. I still replace mine as Peter, because that's what I have it, my host name as. And over here, region. Um, if you don't know, we're gonna find some regions. Here's some regions. Over here, <coughs> New York, San Fran, Amsterdam, Singapore, London, um, Frankfurt, Toronto, and Bangalore. Um, those are just, and also um, the IDs that you can use, NYC2, NYC3, yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah, the key ID is also pretty important um, to have. Uh, for a lot of people that just, a lot of people get really tripped up by that, so that's to clear up a lot of confusion. And then API key, and yeah, everything basically all in one place. So um, we're just gonna go back on Windows. And there you go, it created this proxy over here. Um, it generated this port, Nate, port, a random username and a random password and um, this is easy proxy hopefully it clears up a lot of confusion for you guys and um, yeah thanks for watching